Today, we're going to see who will win the Premier League. But teams can use any past and present players from their teams. So the likes of Henri and Vieira can play for Arsenal. Everton will have Rooney, Etu and Lineker. Even Spurs have a chance of winning, as they have Berbatov, Modric and Keane. And instead of it being a league over 38 games, I've changed it into a 32-team Champions League format. Obviously, there is only 20 teams in the Premier League, so we're going to have to add 12 from the Championship. But it means that the likes of Leicester and Leeds, who have great past and present players will be able to compete with some of these top Premier League teams. So the group stages have been played. Let's see who's making it through to the knockout phase. Chelsea top group A winning all three games with Manchester United in second place. Man United actually have a chance with their icons in the team and also no Maguire definitely helps. Group B and it'd be Sheffield United that would top the group and Fulham come in second with Brentford and Sunderland finishing bottom. Group C and not even Jude Bellingham could help Birmingham make it through to the knockout phases and surprisingly Coventry City had beat Luton to second place with Liverpool of course finishing top Group D and 115 charges FC top the group as expected but there was a slight shock as QPR had finished above Leeds United Leeds had the likes of Kuehl, Rafinha, Calvin Phillips not very good anymore but he used to be but unfortunately they couldn't make it through Group E and Dark Horses Everton top the group winning three from three they do have Rooney, Etu, Lineker and they've got a prime Barrow and Fellaini in there too. And finishing second was Tottenham Hotspur. Group F, it was Southampton who topped the group with Leicester finishing second. Leicester are also in with a great chance as they have the likes of Mares, Helimans, Schmeichel. And I've also added two world-class defenders from May United in there in Johnny Evans and Harry Maguire. I'm sorry, Leicester fans. Maguire had to play for someone. Group G and Newcastle could only manage a second-place finish. They have the likes of Alan Shearer, Pullet, and Ginola added to their squad. But top in Group G was West Ham, who have an unbelievable team and are also dark horses as well as Everton. The likes of Bobby Moore, Rio Ferdinand, Declan Rice, Carlos Tevez, Mascherano. West Ham have really had some top, top players play for them over the years. And in Group H, Arsenal top the group. They might actually have a chance to win their first Premier League in over 20 years. But pipping Aston Villa to third place was Crystal Palace. And I've added Wilfred Zaha back there. Conor Gallagher. And you wouldn't get too excited over Gallagher. But I've added an icon they've got Ian Wright firing them into the knockout stages and it's fair to say they're moving in the right place and our first round of 16 match would be Manchester City versus Newcastle meaning that already one of the big guns was going out where Martin Tyler will commentate on this one thanks big dick what a game we have for you whoever will be the strongest and hardest man will win it's Foden great skill on the wing Haaland with a touch of a baby elephant Gullet loses the ball. Haaland is in here. He sweats it across. Hooray! 1-0 oh. to Corruption FC. Why are they touching each other up? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ginola is in down the right, but he shows his spursy ness and bottles the chance. Shearer into Isaac. Shot blocked. Ball's two! Shearer! Great save from Peter File. Uh, another chance for Haaland. This guy is shit. Ginola twerking on the wing. Plays it into Gullet. Gullet's dreadlocks got in his eyes. Shave it off, lad. Full time here at 115 charges. FC are through. Long hair Ginola and Gullet are out. Our next game was Man United versus Sheffield United. United would cruise to victory from goals from Bobby Charlton and Rashford. Probably Man United's only chance at a trophy this season, let's be honest. Another big game between two teams that have the same amount of Premier League titles. Liverpool versus Leicester. And it'd be Mo Salah into the box, into Dirk Kout, who is fouled by Johnny Evans. Or is he? I'll let you decide if that's a penalty or not. There's Maguire pleading the innocence. Like anyone is going to listen to Harry Maguire. But it'll be Mo Salah to step up and strike it in the top corner to put Liverpool 1-0 up against Leicester. And it'd be a very boring second half. But thanks to the referees, Liverpool will be into the next round. This strike from Henri was enough to see them into the next round. Henri may have 99 problems, but the scoring ain't one. Dark Horses Everton will face QPR in a round of 16 game for a thunderbolt from Rooney. And a great run and finish from Etu would put them into the next round. 
Next game would be West Ham versus Crystal Palace. Two English icons with Wright versus Bobby Moore. And this bitter magic from Carlos Tevez with his bulldog-like approach put them through to the next round. An all-championship tie as Coventry faced Southampton. And it'd be Coventry that went through. Pick of the goals from Ellis Sims, who actually looks like a pro clubs player more than an actual footballer. Somehow, they'd be through to the quarterfinals. And the tie of the round, where it was Chelsea versus Tottenham Hotspurs. Again, another big team would be going home, but I'm going to let Derek Ray commentate on this one for you. Million pound bottle jobs versus never won a trophy FC. Hoysberg with a chance. This guy is so ass. Ramirez is in down the right. What the? Nearly a Spursy moment there. Who's that little rocket? DeSailly into Drogba. Great save. Why are they celebrating like they won another Audi Cup? Full time here. Penalties to decide the winner. Lampert lamps it home. Cool Panenka from Bergatov. Drogba tries the same and misses. Modric misses. Ramirez slams it home. Kane misses too. And Kunka drives it in. Spurs have to score or they are out. Bottom hot Spurs are out. You can take the boy out of Spurs, but not the Spurs out the boy. And we are now into the quarterfinals, where it'd be Manchester United versus Arsenal. A big rivalry returns. And it was a dull, dull game, to be honest with you. But with the help from Unana, who obviously his boyhood hero must have been on re with the way he set him up. Gave Arsenal a 1-0 lead in the fifth minute. Not only is Unana making mistakes in real life, he's making them on FIFA too. Bad to think he cost Manchester United £45 million. Pounds. Unana half redeemed himself with this shot, but Man United kept on knocking on the door. Couldn't get through a resilient Arsenal team who would be through to the semis. It would be West Ham versus Everton, a battle of the dark horses for a place in the semi finals. But we'll be letting Martin Tyler commentate on this one for us. Hammers versus the Scows, who can doggy their team into the semis. Tevez into Suka. Back to Tevez. Carlos Tevez. Ah, goal for North Ham. What a finish by Greaseball Lees. 1 0. Fellaini in space, finds line car. Line of car scores. This guy shags Chris for a living. Whoa, 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 hey. Tevez into Sukar. Great save by Little Arms. Rooney in space, slots it into Ducor. Everton lead. Hammer blow for the Hammers. Uh, what's Ginger not doing on the pitch? Uh, full time here. Everton hammer the hammers. Oh, I'm going to watch some adult content. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another English classic as it's Chelsea versus Liverpool, where Derek Ray will commentate on the game for us. Let's hope Chelsea ruin Klopp's farewell. Owen down the wing does some stupid skill and Ricky catches him. Gerard turns to Zayli into Thiago. Who shoots? Easy save for Czech. What a pony game. Now for penalties. Lamb slots it home. Buried by Morientes. Drogba dogs it in. Gerard slips it home. Tucked away by Ramirez. No salad arrows in top corner. Enzo, oh no. Ginger not misses. Ken Kunker drills it. Composure from little man. James scores with ease. Has to score or Liverpool go home. He misses. Check the hero. Once again, his helmet wins it for them. Whoa, 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 whoa. Our last quarterfinal clash were, of course, Manchester City would get Southampton. They always get the easy draws. But it'd be an outrageous overhead kick from Haaland and a thing of beauty from Torre that put Man City into the semis. Now, we were now into the semi finals where it would be Manchester City versus Arsenal. Probably the two favorite teams to win it. But only one can go through to the final. But Derek Ray will commentate on this one. Great turn from Henry. City back off him. Just pedophile to beat, which he does. The King puts Arsenal 1-0 up. Crunching tackle. There could be a red card. Of course, the ref bottles it. 
Arsenal on a counter with Martinelli. Plays it into Henry. He strikes it. Great save from Peter File. Viren down the left. Strikes it, but it deflects to Henry. The King delivers again for the Gunners. Attack for City. De Bruyne lays it to Rodri. Great save from Ray. Full time here. City have been gunned down by the Gunners. Henry bent over that City defence. Whoa, 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 whoa. Everton versus Chelsea in our second semi-final. A repeat of the 2009 FA Cup final. Fast start from Chelsea as Ramirez slides it into Lampard, who shoots. And it's a save from T-Rex. Chelsea on the attack again as Ramirez feeds it into Drogba. He's holding off Young. Turns, shoots. Good save from T-Rex, but Drogba, Drogba eats up the rebound. And he's now molesting people in the crowd. And of course, his whoa, typical whoa, whoa, Red whoa, Boy whoa, teammates whoa, whoa, join him. SAE finds Sterling. And again, T-Rex having the game of his life with another save. Sterling beats one, he beats two, and finishes it in typical Sterling style, wide of the goal. There's full time as Drogba haunts Everton again. And it will be an all London final between Arsenal and Chelsea. A battle between Drogba and Henri for the Premier League Cup, where I'll be letting Martin Tyler and Derek Ray together commentate on this one. I love Cup Final Day. Dangerous free kick for Red Boys. Falls to Ramirez, side netting. A good play from Fat Frank. He finds Palmer. 1-0 Chelsea. Red Boys ahead in this final. Can Chelsea get another before the half? Desailly finds Sterling. He doggies it into the back of the net. Is there any way back for the Gunners? Suspect behavior from the players. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Full time here. Chelsea slapped the Gunners. Subscribe to the channel. Back to you, Monarchs. And there we have it. Chelsea are our Premier League Cup winners. Past and present edition. Even though Chelsea are rubbish nowadays, they have an unbelievable set of players that have played for them throughout the years. And that's why they're crowned our Premier League Cup champions. And if you enjoyed this video, you're going to enjoy the video that's recommended right here.